several counties across Alabama, including Jefferson, used a program called Everbridge to provide emergency alerts to residents. Some of the EMA calls came through as spam, though, during yesterday's storms. CBS 42's Malik Rankin joins us now with how the agency recommends avoiding the problem in the future, Malik. The Jefferson County EMA is aware that some of their calls may come through as spam and their fix is simple. They're encouraging residents to add their phone number to their contacts. So if a call ever does come through, you know it's from the EMA and not a spam caller. Jefferson County Emergency Management Agency has reached out to Verizon, AT&T and T-Mobile over concerns of their calls appearing as spam. Sure, so as these uh, companies are, are improving their spam filters and as well as uh, other applications people can download, purchase, or for free, uh, you know, sometimes we do run into folks uh, not receiving our messages, the phone calls. While EMA has tried to tackle this issue with the cell phone companies, until today, none of them have replied. Instead, they ask you save their phone number. Uh, to add uh, the phone number, uh, 205-254, 2505 uh, to your contacts list. I reached out to AT&T to find out if they were aware of the situation. After this interview, Chris Tate got a phone call from AT&T Corporate Communications. AT&T told Tate their number is not on their spam list. EMA will be reaching out and following up with other cell service providers to get to the root of the problem. Live in Birmingham, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.